Hello everyone. Welcome to Competition Safari and today we'll be discussing pipes and cisterns. Now before proceeding further, I request you to go through our videos of time uh, time and work part 1 because there you will be able to understand how we are using ra ratios and percentage to get us to make our solutions very easy. I'll show you an example why I'm saying this. So when I see 10 minutes here, I can simply write 10% you for those who haven't uh, seen our videos of time and work they might be wondering where these values are coming from well i'm just giving you a glimpse that 100 by 10 minutes i'm using 10% and for 5% how i got this value is 100 divided by 20 so this will give me a value of 5% this we have clearly explained in our first video of time and work and if you go through our video you will have a complete and crystal clear knowledge of how we are using this ratio table so in this video we'll be discussing some some questions on pipes and cisterns and using those questions we'll be clearing our concepts and we'll also be seeing the different types of questions that we see in our examinations let's go through our first question so here we have a tap a can fill a tank in 10 minutes and tap b can fill that same tank in 20 minutes find the total time they will take to fill the tank completely so we have 10 minutes 10 minutes which means 10% 20 minutes is 5% together 15% so if i remember the values from my ratio table i can simply say that okay 15% it gives me a value of 6. 67 or 6.66 see here i i again request you to go through this uh, ratio table and mug up the values so you have to learn these values so if you want to solve the questions very easily and fast so the moment i see 15% here i'll i'll know that 6.66 minutes is my answer so you can also write 6.66 minutes as 6 upon 6 plus 2 by 3 minutes or 6 minutes and 40 seconds so go through these values and try to learn them while you are solving the questions the more you practice the more you will be used to and lesser the need of seeing this chart while solving your questions this was the first type of question and the most basic one the easiest of all the questions we we just use it here to show you how we are, how we will be solving and the solutions will be similar to those we we have we used in time and work same concept same things only the words of the problems have been changed so let's move on to our next question we have a can fill a tank in 10 minutes b can do it in 20 minutes and c is a tap which is emptying it and it can empty the complete tank in 40 minutes so we have we have to find the total time taken by all the three taps to fill the tank completely we have a plus b minus c i am subtracting the work done by the tap c because it is emptying the tank it is not filling it up so 10 minutes is 10% 20 minutes is 5% and 40 minutes is 2.5% so we have our values we just need to put them here 10 plus 5 minus 2.5 this gives you 15 minus 2.5 which is 12.5% so the moment i see 12.5 i can say that okay it it corresponds to the value of 1 by 8 which means 8 minutes will be taken by all three of them to fill the tank completely same request to you please go through our videos on time and work to understand this this concept and mug up these values you have to learn them so yeah in end 8 8 minutes the tank can be filled completely next question is tap a can fill the tank in 10 minutes tap b can do it in 20 minutes we don't have the value for tap c all together 
they can fill in six minutes so we have 10 minutes as 10 percent 20 minutes as five percent and this unknown value as c percentage together they can fill the tank in six minutes which means 16.66 percent so together means a plus b plus c in 16 six percent so 10 plus 5 plus c percent is equal to 16.66 we have 15 plus c is equal to 16.66 c is 1.66 percent so the moment i see 1.66 i can know that okay this value corresponds to 1 by 60 which means c alone can fill the tank in 60 minutes this was again a very easy question and if if you are thorough with the ratios and the, its values i assure you you won't even have to use your pen to get your solutions see i'll i'll just show you you see 10 minutes and you look think okay 10% 25% which means 15% c is not given 6 minutes is 16.66 so you will come at least to this point in worst case is equal to 16.66 percent at least you can do this and in two lines you have your solutions you have your solution so moving to our next question we have a can fill a tank in 20 minutes b can do it in 24 minutes C is emptying the tank at 3 liters per, per minute. So we don't have the exact time taken by C to empty the complete tank. A, B, C, when all, together, all the three taps are open at the same time, they can fill the tank in 15 minutes. Let's see. 20 minutes is 5%. 24 minutes is 4.16%. And A, B, C together can fill the tank in 15 minutes, which means 6.66%. So we have A plus B minus C because it is emptying. C is emptying the tank. 6.66%. So 5 plus 4.16 <coughs> minus C will give you 6.66%. 9.16 minus c is 6.66 we have 9.16 minus 6.66 is equal to c which means 2.5 percent is c so the moment i see 2.5 percent i'll know that okay this value corresponds to the value of 1 by 40 which means in 40 minutes c can empty the tank completely which also gives us that okay find the capacity of the tank in one minute it is emptying three liters so in 40 minutes it will empty three into three into 40 so 120 liters is the capacity of our tank All this is ratios and percentage, nothing more, and basic calculations which you can do it in your mind and no need of your pen. It's very time saving from the perspective of your examinations. Please go through it. Another question A is three times more efficient than B. Both can fill the tank in 20 minutes. Find the capacity of B alone. So we have A and B, two taps. It is saying that tap A is three times more efficient than B. So if B is doing one unit of work in one minute, A will be doing three times of B, which means three units of work in one minute. Total work units will be four, sorry. It will be four work units and total time taken is 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, how much work units will be done? 
20 cross 4 which means 80 work units we have to find the capacity of B which means if we divide the work units by the efficiency of B we will find the time taken by V to fill the tank completely which is in this case plain 80 minutes so we have our answer let's say if it had asked you the capacity of A alone so what you will be doing is you have your work units 80 and your efficiency is 3 so the total time taken by A to fill the tank will be work units divided by the efficiency and this will give you in minutes so you will have your answers eventually if you use a little brain next question A can fill a tank in 10 minutes B can do it in 20 minutes if A and B are open for 2 minutes and then A is closed how much time will B take to fill the tank completely well let's see A and B are open for 2 minutes so let's make a small timeline 0 minutes 1 minute and 2 minutes so here A and B are doing the work A is doing 10% B is doing 5%. So total work done is 15% in 1 minute. 0 to 1, 15%. 1 to 2, 15%. So total work done in 2 minutes will be 30%. This 30% of work done before A left. So the remaining work will be 30 minus, sorry, 100 minus 30, which is 70%. This 70% of work is left for B to do alone. Now we are seeing that B is doing 5% of work in 1 minute. 5% of work in 1 minute. To complete 70% of work it will take it 14 minutes more to fill the tank completely. Next question. Tap A can fill a tank in 6 minutes. When half of the tank is filled, three more tap of same efficiency is open. How much time will it take to fill the tank completely? Well, let's make a diagram which I'm not good at. Okay, let's say this is our tank and it is half filled. Half filled by A alone. So A can fill it in 6 minutes and to complete uh, half of the tank it would have taken him 3 minutes. So the remaining time, remaining time is 3 minutes. Now there has to be some work done in 3 minutes and A has to do it in 3 minutes. It is saying that 3 more taps of same efficiency is open. So previously A was doing some work in 6 minutes, half of, of, half of it is already done, so 3 minutes of work is left. Now 3 more people of same efficiency have joined A, which means 3A plus A alone and it gives you 4A. A was doing it in 3 minutes, 4A will be doing it in 3 by 4 minutes. Isn't it, isn't it simple proportion like 4A, okay, A is doing it in 3 minutes, 4A will be doing it in 3 by 4 minutes. So this will be your answer, 3 by 4 minutes will be time taken to fill the tank completely. Next question, tap A can fill a tank in 10 minutes, however there is a hole in the tank due to which the tank is now filled in 12.5 minutes. Well, whenever there is a case of emptying the tank or there is a hole or, or a tap which is emptying the tank, we will always subtract it from the, from the totaling of the work done. Let's, let's take a look at this again. So, A can fill a tank in 10 minutes. B can fill the same tank. Uh, sorry, A can fill a tank in 10 minutes. A and hole. A and hole can do it in 
12 minutes 12.5 so 10 minutes is 10 percent 12.5 minutes is 8 percent now if we subtract the work done by the whole by by the a tap a we will get the value for whole which will be 10 minus 8 which gives you 2 percent so 2 percent of work is done by by the whole to empty the tank in one minute so this value corresponds to the value of 1 by 50 which means it will take it 50 minutes to completely empty the tank so yeah that's pretty much it and if you have any confusions regarding to the solutions or any other question that you would want us to discuss please feel free to contact us and post our post your questions in the comment or mail us to competition safari at gmail.com this is all for now and we have covered basic questions of time uh, pipes and cisterns and in the next video i'll be coming up with a higher difficulty level questions on pipe on pipe and cistern until then goodbye and take care